agriculture capital came alive this morning as about 300 teachers marched in solidarity. They were spirited, loud, and resolute. If there was any fear of intimidation, it wasn't apparent today. They walked the main streets, singing union songs, and even some they made up for the occasion, with the Prime Minister and his Minister of Education featuring prominently, if not positively, in the lyrics. They got support from onlookers, including the representatives of this union, which stood up with signs held high, proclaiming that they support the teachers 100%. And we believe that the teachers all need the adjustment so that they can perform their duty to the best of their ability that the, world, of, that the next generation of, of Belize may be well, will be well taught. We are standing with the teachers simply because we believe in our children, we believe in our young people, and we're hoping that our future will be better, and now is the time to invest in that. Not next week, next year, and finding excuses won't cut it. Change must come, must start with us. The addresses from the podium have been fiery in all the rallies thus far, and today was no exception. And they say, and they say, this is about the money. They are about the money because they have all of it. We are about our children who we care for and who we love. Tell your students today, tomorrow, that you do not have a day of math because your teachers want to save your country for you. Tell your children tomorrow that your teachers don't teach languages today or yesterday because they are there to make sure that there are opportunities for you in the future. Tell your students tomorrow that when tell them students tomorrow that no social studies yesterday today because you know what we want to make sure that we have less corrupt ministers in government. Yeah. The prime minister has called me and wind up doll. Well, the message to him is this: that I am unwinding. And because I'm unwinding, he has to deal with me. He will continue to deal with me and the BNTU because this train is not going to stop. He also called me a prisoner of the teacher. Yes, I am a prisoner of the teacher, but I listen to my constituents and that is why I'm in Dangriga today. As it has been also, the concerns ran the gamut from the salary adjustment to social security and income tax reform to better working conditions and an end to injustice, abuse and corruption. The truth is that teachers have recognized the corruption in this country. Teachers have realized how much effort we have put in to work for the development of the nation and we are solely uh, complaining we are here to express our displeasure for the corruption. We are here to ensure that the government uh, live up to their commitment for the salary adjustment and every other issues that this country has to offer. The social security, many other issues. All right. Now there have also been attempts to intimidate the teachers. Will you all be intimidated? Certainly not. If you could look at what we have out here today, teachers are not being intimidated by anything the government has to do. So you all will stand strong? We certainly will. If you deal with one, you deal with all. What is substantial to him will not be substantial to us. He has gone on record, and again in bad faith, gone on record to say that that salary adjustment will not be more than 3%. What is substantial about 3%? Nothing at all. We're not taking a holiday because we still have to come to school tomorrow. All the tongue we have classes to come to. So it's not a holiday we're taking. And like the speaker said, that we have a right to stand, and we're not taking away anything from the students because we're standing up for them, for their future. We want to make that clear to them. In my book, it's just basically about respect. I think the teachers deserve a lot of respect. It doesn't matter if it's corruption or salary increase. They just have to respect us. We are the educators of this country. And today, as the teachers stood for their cause, there were parents who stood beside them to show support.
They work hard for the children, with the children. They even give the extra classes, especially for those who, those children who cannot read good. They even give the extra classes, and I see fear in Dangriga. So you're 100% behind them? I'm 100% behind them. I'm out there supporting the teachers, rallying with them for a worthy cast, because I think they deserve their, their payment and that they're demanding so much of the teachers and they're giving is very little to the teachers. The addresses lasted until well after midday and it was verified that contrary to assertions made, these teachers will be in the classroom on Friday. Mike Rodon for News 5.